The next tool up is the third tool in our lasso uh, toolbox here. If we click and hold it, we're going to have the magnetic lasso tool. Very, very similar to the polygonal lasso tool. Before we start working, we want to make sure that the correct layer is active. Once again, we want the background layer to be active. So if I click on it, simply click on this background layer, it's going to be active. It gets highlighted. Layer 4 currently is visible, although you can't tell, again, because it's layered exactly on top. If I turn this off, the bottom layer off, the only one visible is layer 4, and certainly so you can see it, it works very well. Looks good. So we're going to turn that off, turn our background layer back on, make sure it is active. Then we're going to use our, our magnetic lasso tool. It's the third one on the bottom, magnetic lasso tool. Now the magnetic lasso tool, some people like it. I don't like it. I think it kind of is a crappy tool. It just doesn't really work as well as it's supposed to. It works like the polygonal lasso tool. If I click and drag, but this time as I drag, you'll see that my line wants to snap to the edge of my butterfly. Now everyone looks at that and goes, oh, wow, that is so cool, Mr. K. But really it's not because as we get into here, now it doesn't really snap quite where we want it to. It doesn't quite catch the outside edge. Once again, I'm not going to try to sway you one way or the other. You can decide which of these tools you like the best. You can, whichever ones that work best for you, you can decide those are the ones you want to use. We're going to be doing projects in the future. Um, actually, we're going to do a little collage project in which we're going to be using these, these techniques to select and copy and paste objects into another image. So whichever tools you decide work the best, those are the ones that you're going to use. And I'm not going to tell you which ones to use, although I don't recommend this tool very well because it's just not that great. It, it's supposed to do one thing, but it really, you know, I'm trying to, you can't do these antenna very good. So I'm just going to skip those. And now when I get to the end, I simply double click. Whoops. I actually, actually, my cursor changes to the little, shows me a little closed loop and I click on it and that, sh that com com uh, completes my circle completes my selection. What I'm also going to do again is I'm going to go up here to the top to my do I have that choice? Oh. Stop. I'm going to go up to the top to my select and mask click on it hello oops I guess because my there we go. Click on it. And again, I'm going to simply adjust my feather, adjust my smooth. Just going to smooth it just a little bit by one or two pixels. I might feather it by a couple tenths of a pixel, and then I'll click OK. Once that's done, I'm simply going to, again, Control c Control v copy and paste it. We'll make another layer, and it will look like this. So I want you to go ahead, try the magnetic lasso, magnetic lasso tool, see how you like it. Uh, good luck.